Is this thing on? What's up everyone? This is Cedric Sky City and welcome back to another video and it's been one month since I've been in Korea. So here's a little life update for you. Alright guys, so it's been a couple of weeks since I moved to Korea and I thought now would be a really good time for me to sit down and talk to you guys and let you guys know how I've been adjusting and how things have been going with me. If you guys follow me on social media, you guys know that I've been very active and busy. Ever since I came to Korea, I hit the ground running. And so if you're not following me on social media, make sure you hit me up, Sky City, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook as well. So make sure you do that. Also, if you're new to this channel, I make Korean culture related content. And now that I'm in Korea, you've got a lot of content that's coming for you so be sure to subscribe for more videos and hit that notification bell so guys I got here in mid-February and for those of you guys that don't know I actually came over here to be an English teacher with the epic program which is the English program in Korea and for all the new teachers for the spring 2018 intake we had to be here for a certain time for orientation and so that time for me was mid-February I wanted to come to Korea a week before orientation so I was in Seoul for about a week hanging out getting adjusted and getting acclimated to Korea so if you haven't seen any of those vlogs yet make sure you click right here and check those vlogs out as soon as I came here I met some awesome people I was able to meet up with some of the epic teachers that came early as well and we just hung out got to know each other had some good fun that week and I also got a chance to meet some fellow youtubers here in Korea so that was really fun so after my first week in Seoul I had to go to orientation and so epic held a nine-day orientation this year, and there were about two to 300 teachers that were part of this orientation, and it was a pretty intensive time for us to really just learn more about the EPIC program, learn more about our positions as English teachers. So all in all, it was a very fun time, it was a very intense time, and that was why I was a little MIA during that week. I didn't really upload much because I just didn't have too much time to do that but the good news is I was able to capture a lot of footage from that week so I'll be working on a video about the epic orientation and so stay tuned for that especially those of you guys that are interested in coming over to Korea to teach with the epic program and so I think it'll be pretty cool for you guys to check out so once orientation was over we had a bittersweet moment of saying goodbye to all of our new friends and other English teachers that we met during orientation and then we had to go to our assigned locations and for me I was placed in Daejeon so this is where where I currently am. As you can see, I'm in a new location and this is actually my apartment. And so it's a pretty nice place. It's not quite done yet for me to show you guys, but once it is, Trust me, I'll give you guys an apartment tour here. So immediately after moving to Daejeon, I started at my assigned location. So I'm actually not at a regular school in Daejeon. I've been placed at an English camp and I'll do another video on my experience with that. But it's a whole different setup and I didn't even know that it existed through the EPIC program, but I really enjoy my new workplace. I enjoy my coworkers and even my supervisors. They're all mad cool. And so I'm actually very happy that I've been placed there. So yeah, I'm so excited to show you guys how all of these things will begin to unfold as I continue to work here, as I continue to build some relationships here, and as I continue to show you guys different facets of Korea and Korean culture, it's gonna be awesome. So a lot of you guys out there are wondering how I've been adjusting so far ever since moving to Korea. I feel like I've adjusted a lot quicker than I expected. Though I've been familiar with Korean culture, it's from a different lens in America. So coming to immerse myself here in Korea and in the culture, has been a positive experience. It's been a tremendous learning experience and it's been fun. I mean, as with anything new, there is a learning curve and so I'm still learning how to live here and how to acclimate to society. So it's been a unique learning process, but it's been awesome. Now, as far as some of the challenges that I faced since coming here, uh, nothing too major. I remember my first week here when I got to Seoul. My first day, I was as lost as could be. I can't tell you how many times I got lost trying to figure out the public transportation, trying to go from point A to point B. I don't know, I, I just have a gift for getting lost, you know what I mean? But it only took me one day to get adjusted to the metro system here in Korea because the subway system here is so easy to navigate, so organized, and I think it's so efficient. Some of the other challenges that I face were mostly like language barrier. Now, I never would have claimed that my Korean was good, but after coming to Korea, I realized that my Korean 
sucks. <laughs> so it's a whole nother world when everything around you is in Korean. Even though Korea is very English friendly, especially in the bigger cities because there's, there's English everywhere. So it's pretty easy for foreigners to to be fine. When it comes to living here, when it comes to setting up your accounts like your internet or your phone or oh my gosh, your bank account, man, I had a time. And my co-teacher actually helped me out a lot and big shouts out to her. But she's also challenging me to try to figure out stuff on my own because she knows that I need to get better at Korean. And so I'm over here trying to learn all this stuff. So that's been a big challenge because these are words that I've never even heard before. And these are phrases and expressions that I've never even heard. Okay, so now I really have to get better at Korean. I really have to put some intentional focus on learning the language even more and getting better at it. Some of the things that I love about Korea, I've got convenience stores all around me. I've got food all around me. I've got transportation. I can get anywhere I want in the city. No problems at all. There's coffee shops, there's cafes, there's tons of shopping all around me. There's Wi-Fi everywhere. The internet is super fast and I can only speak for Daejeon, but it's super convenient. Not to mention that my city is a pretty nice hub to get to other parts of Korea in no time. So those are some of the things that I like. So overall, how do I feel right now? Well, if I can describe it in one sentence, it would be that I feel right at home. I'm pretty excited to get my life started here in Korea and to really start getting into some of the things that I've always dreamed of getting into. And really, this is the year where I'm gonna put in the hustle and the time to pursue the things that I've always wanted to pursue. And the beautiful thing is that you guys, some of you who have been with me at the very beginning and those of you guys that are just now joining, you guys get to see the whole process unfold in real time as it happens. And so I'm very excited to share that part of my life with you guys. And as I am pursuing those things that I've always wanted to pursue, I'm most excited about really adding value to you guys. I'm excited about adding value to the lives of different people and really making a positive impact in their lives. And so I think that's what gives me the greatest excitement and I get a chance to really be involved in your lives. So I appreciate you guys for being with me and being on this journey with me. All right, so I think that that is about it guys. I wanted to give you guys that update because it's been a while since we had this heart to heart. Now before I go, I want to hear from you guys. I want to know what kind of videos you guys would like to see now that I'm in Korea. Now I got a lot of video ideas that I'm planning and I'm developing and as I'm doing that I want to hear what you guys want to see. So let me know in the comment section below if you want to continue to see vlogs, if you want to see more Korean culture related topics being discussed, if you like talking head videos like this, or if you want to see food related videos or even mukbangs, somebody please say you do because I love to eat. Or if you want to see all of those, let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to read and check all of those out. For everyone who has been supportive of me and my journey, even from the very beginning, I want to say thank you guys. I read all of your comments. I think you guys know that and I try my best to respond back to every single one of you guys as much as I can. So thank you guys for the love and support. And if you're new to this channel, definitely consider subscribing for more videos and make sure you hit that notification bell. Make sure you guys follow me on social media at SkySetty on all the platforms on the screen and also below. And, and make sure you guys remember to always seize the day. Peace.